Hey there guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Now this camera quality is not as good as it normally is. Why is that? Well today's video is an interesting video. Today I'm going to be filming a whole vlog on the iPhone 3GS. This is going to be a new series. Uh, when I get an iPhone 2G, I will try to figure out how to jailbreak it and get it to where I can record video on it. But this is the iPhone 3, which unfortunately the jailbreak that allows you to make uh, record videos because if you don't know, those phones can't record a video. They they just that feature didn't exist until the iPhone 3GS, which is what I'm filming on. All right. So you're asking. Well, I don't know if I can actually film on those. The jailbreak doesn't work. Like the app just crashes. So I tried contacting the developer. They didn't answer. So yeah. And then I'm gonna make a video whenever I get a new a new iPhone for uh, four. I don't, I don't have the 4s yet. Whenever I get a new iPhone four, I will. Make a video on it called "This Video Is Filmed." Like this video is going to be called F "This Video Is Filmed with an iPhone 3GS." I'm just going to make one on every iPhone that can have video. So I'll make one on the 4, the 4S, the 5, 5S in order. Um, uh, my 4 broke. I, I broke it, but also the camera on it was broken already. So I was like, eh. if it's going to be a part of the collection, it has to be everything has to be fully functional. I'm gonna go outside and you know be fair to this. Poor little lad. Alright, ignore the video. It's super dark in here, so it's not fair. So, let's ignore how dark it is in here. That's why I use that light. I have no idea how the quality is on this thing. I'm gonna guess probably not good. Hold on. I still want this to fall out, because this iPhone 3GS is it actually in the best condition. Like, the fact that I was able to get one of these in this good condition was... Like rare considering the the seller I got this from um was sketchy like the eBay account was brand new and there was no reviews and so I was like Ooh, it's probably probably a scam um no but it's in good condition like there's no scratches the back is like almost brand new there's hardly any scratches like to be honest I kind of don't want to even be using this thing because it's the battery even the battery the battery is estimated because you know Technically, the version of iOS that's on here, it can't um, detect the battery health, but there's a software that can kind of, it can um, kind of guess, and it's guessed to be, and it's normally pretty accurate, though, and, um, anyway, um, it, it says it's average to be at 87 maximum battery capacity, which is really good for an iPhone this old. And it actually stays charged. Like the iPhone 3S, 3G I have, I, call, I almost called it a 3S. The iPhone 3G I have, if you unplug it from 100% battery, within, within 30 minutes it'll just shut off. Like, it'll say it's at like 60% battery and it'll just turn off. Like it'll shut off. This phone doesn't do that. Like, I can actually use it until it gets to 0% battery, and then it will, you know, obviously die. But the fact that, you know, I don't have to, you know, it's pretty good. Sorry, I'm kind of just out of it today. But also, I just suck at talking. <laughs> anyway, I'm outside during the day because I want to be as fair as possible, so... The sensors that are in these phones are super tiny, so you gotta be. I'm gonna be fair and let make sure it have good lighting. But lighting is not about everything, although it is a major, major thing in filmmaking for sure. Lighting is important, otherwise the sensor just has no light. But the second most important thing, in my opinion, is the image processor. So. As you can tell, even if I'm outside, I don't remember the camera specs, so I'll put it on screen now for the iPhone 3GS, which is probably decent for the time, and it could probably actually get more out of it if they put a new image processor on it. So if you don't know, Canon is very popular for this. Their budget cameras, they just reuse the same, they reuse the same sensor. However, you notice, well, if it's the same sensor, how is the quality better if they're using the same sensor? A lot of people don't know this, but like, for example, the Canon Rebel T100 was Canon's, also the M100, and the M200 
all have the same image sensor. However, you notice the M200 and the other ones, or the newer ones, right? The new budget camera. And, oh wait, I think the M50 has the same processor, or not the same processor, it has the same sensor as well. And you notice, well, how come the M50 and the M100 look better than the other two, including the T2i? Here's how you at, here, wait, not T2i, it's the T3i. But, and you are asking, well, how is that? That's because they take the same sensor and they pair it with a newer digic processor and it improves the picture quality. Because the sensor isn't everything. Like, the sensors, it matters, but the sensor, all it, the sensor does is just collects the light. And the processor is what's responsible for turning that into an image. So, obviously, bigger the sensor, the more light you get, the better the picture quality. But what matters the most for the picture quality to look good, well, the size of the sensor, but, like, you can use the same sensor. As long as you keep pairing it with a newer processor that can do more, the picture is going to look better. So, like, if I could figure, if you could, someone could figure out how to, like, put this camera on an iPhone 12 and use the newer image processing, it will look 10 times better and, like, a lot more usable. And you can, you might even be able to get 720i out of it. Not P, but maybe 720i. But, you know, the camera size matters, the size of the sensor matters. Also, depending on what kind of sensor it is too. There's different kind of sensors. But yeah, that's how Canon keeps making budget cameras. They keep using the same sensor and just pairing it up with a new processor. However, that does have its limits too. Sometimes they will have to make a new sensor. There's other aspects. Well, when I said it was all it does was collect light, I kind of lied. It does have some other aspects to it, but that's really the gist. That's really mostly what it's responsible for, is just collecting the light. But, you know. I think the quality on this is going to be not bad, but I think it's going to be equivalent to like, at least hopefully, hopefully it's not worse, but I think it's just going to be equivalent to a, like a, a, one of those mini DV like tape cameras that took those like tiny little tapes. It's just a little bit smaller than a cassette. I used to have one of those cameras. They're actually pretty good. I want, I want one so I can just make a found footage series. But yeah, hopefully the footage isn't terrible. I noticed the problem with these old iPhones is that the auto exposure sucks compared to newer iPhones. So like it'll like just make the highlights in the background awful. See, so yeah, I bet you it's terrible right now and I have it pretty level. But if I go up like this, it, it fixes it. See, you don't have to do that with newer iPhones or really any cameras at all. Well, guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully it don't look too bad. I mean, it should be usable. Oh, yeah, we can't end the video without doing an autofocus test because I think this is, I think it has autofocus on it. All right. I, the brightness is so low because I didn't want the battery to die, so. All right. The auto exposure, bro. I can't. I'm just touching the screen. I don't know if it's actually focused or. Alright. Alright. I don't know if anything happened. Anyway, guys, I am out.